lats on let's, their let's own. Do lats. The, the rest of the back, so lats. Okay, okay so best. Anyone. Yeah, I reckon this, this is going to be fairly similar, I'd imagine. So I'm going to go already, I'm going to go for two single arm. I'm going to go for a single arm pull down, like a chest supported, like high to low pull down. And then I'm going to go for a supported, really, like braced. Yeah, but like a single a single arm pull down yeah. where literally you can just brace against something. I say chest supported, but like yeah, something, something to, to brace, brace against. against. And then I'm going to go literally where I'm bringing the cable down from a high point to a medium-ish point, maybe a slightly upward trajectory, but just a single arm cable, like chest supported row or something to brace against row. Would you rather have a cable or would you rather have a machine? I think it depends. Like I, I, I never I, ever, I, ever I, used a pull down machine that is as good as a cable. Yeah, I, we said this actually. Do you remember when we were at Rotherham and I think it was the pool session that we did before I got surgery and we started off with a single arm pull down when we deadlifted and uh, and you were like, and we both were like, do you want to do, do a machine? And you were like, I get a better connection with cable. And I was yeah. like, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, let's just do a cable. Even well, in Rotherham did, when there's loads, uh, yeah. uh, like a single arm pull down is better than the gym shop pull down. A single arm cable pull down is better than the Nautilus pull down. Yeah, yeah. we did that single arm plate loaded row. Do you remember? that We had the like seven, eight plates. And yeah. I remember thinking like, I'd rather just use a cable. Yeah. Like, I think the, the gym shop row and pull down are really nice and they do drop off nicely in the shorts. Yeah. So like later on in the session, I think they're good. But generally, I don't think you can go wrong with a cable. Just no. you can align it exactly to how you want. So yeah. for simplicity and setup, like, yeah, you sound. I right. do like that DY row. The door and the is trajectory right? is nice for the, the, the upper lats, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're like going say, single arm pull down. I think is definitely in there. 100%. I think single arm row. I think there's an argument for using a machine row yeah. instead. But regardless, the movement pattern of a single arm consistent. row. Yeah. And then we're going for one more. So what would you be going for for so last? Because I feel like you've ticked off everything you need there. Yeah, but I would probably have something that's going to be because they don't. Obviously, you can be strong on a single arm pull down, single arm row. But they're not really loading the, oh, the, the lat heavily in the length. Remember the Brightman video where it was like, oh yeah, T bar row is going to be more lats. Do you remember that? Yeah, and I remember we were getting like, slated for yeah. it. Yeah, and he was like backing up, he backed himself up into a corner. He was like, no, it, it's a hundred percent. How is it not? It. Yeah, really he put like a, a video defending it, and I yeah. was like, this is painful. The only thing I'd say is single arm pull down, single arm row. They don't really challenge the lats in the length and that much. So I, I, I think okay. a, a machine row that challenges the lats more, like a like a prime row, yeah, that you can load in the mid to length and and you can sort of angle the torso forward and drag yeah. in, or even like doing that on any kind of machine row because it's usually like hammer strength single arm row where it drops off in the short. Like that yeah. would be a bad idea. But I think a dual arm lat bias row, yeah. Even like let's say on a low road, you're gonna get a good amount of upper back. Yeah. But in that length, and you're still gonna get yeah, a good yeah, amount definitely. of lats. So yeah, okay. And then three worst, dumbbell pullover. Dumbbell pullover. I'd even say yeah. a machine pullover. A, 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 I was gonna say a wank machine pullover. I have said it. Okay. A bleep. A bleep pullover. A, a horrendous machine pullover is so awkward. Yeah. A lot of them are bad joints, as well. Yeah. Most of them. You'll rarely ever like get find really one that good. feels really good. And if it does feel good, it will probably feel awful for someone else. Like. The, you, they have to be built perfectly to you, and unfortunately, not many are. Would you put a single arm dumbbell row in? That's a good shout. Yeah. I. It's again. It's one of those. It's I like the exercise. exercise yeah. yeah. Like when we did them in lockdown, they were good for. I them. think it's. A, I really like it as an exercise, yeah. but it, it's not a good exercise. Looking at it when you break it down. Yeah, but, but you could argue a barbell bent over or a dumbbell bent over row isn't good. Yeah, exactly. And we've done them and we pr program them. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're, again, it's like. This this is kind of a clickbait podcast slash video is like best and worst because yeah, yeah. we don't really use that kind of terminology. But obviously there are some awful exercises. But yeah. in terms of like best exercises, like more often than not, you've got to have some more context behind it. Yeah. So like again, like a barbell row, is it a bad exercise? Well, it depends on what you're comparing it to. It depends on the individual. It now, depends yeah, on the execution. Now, yeah, buddy row yeah. is the best exercise yeah. in the world. But we're coming on to upper back soon. Yeah. Actually, yeah, buddy road just targets everywhere. We need yeah, to do it everywhere yeah. at the end. Yeah. So, um, yeah, worst exercise for that. So let's put a single arm dumbbell row in there. Like, I just think yeah. in terms of like the actual profile of the movement, it, it's very, very easy in the length and where yeah. we're stronger. And then we've got a dumbbell pullover and a machine pullover. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anything else that highlights? I don't like, I think single arm hammer strength ISO pull down is poor. I think machine pull downs oh. are generally relatively poor. It depends, like, again, if it's got... The the gym shop one is nice. Even the Nautilus one's pretty good. Yeah. But I think the the hammer strength ones, I think it's massively overrated.